What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to a video unboxing of the Freebooter Miniatures Amazon Range Miniature Nenetsin. I'm going to put a link below in the description so you can head over to the website. This is the picture on their product page for the miniature. As you can see, it looks really cool. Big, beefy Amazon woman. Kind of reminds me of Queen Latifah, I think. I don't know why. I think it's the face and just the, the bulky beefiness of this miniature. I love the uh, non-metallic gold and uh, the that leather look to her. So when you see the miniature it or you unbox it, when you pull it out of the packaging, you've got the body, the head is already attached, the legs are attached, you got two arms on a little metal tab, plus the ponytail, and then of course you get the little black square uh, of the base, and then the square metal of the uh, base. So I'm taking a look at the miniature now, the torso and the body, it's kind of leaning forward. I've noticed immediately that there's a nasty mold line right at the shoulder on the left arm that you have to kind of get in there with your hobby knife and, and scrape off. But uh, just looking at the detail, I love the uh, the little clasps on the, um, the loincloth. It's like a little head, a little face. And so I think I'm going to do that up in gold. Here's taking a look at the two arms, both of them holding uh, some kind of big, chunky weapons, spear-looking things, as well as the ponytail there. And finally, of course, we've got the base. Like all of the Freebooter Miniatures Amazon bases, these inserts have some stonework with a lot of uh, foliage and undergrowth on it, some roots and vines and uh, some leaves. So I can tell that I'm going to have to stick the left foot in that circle and the right foot, which is standing on top of a little piece of masonry, is going to go right in the front. There's a little groove right there where that's going to go. So uh, the first step I always do is putting the insert into the hollow square base. So I'm going to glue the four corners of that. I'm, I'm going to be using super glue. And uh, the next thing that I did was I glued her left arm on. And uh, I'm using these pair of pliers just to kind of hold it in place. And this was overnight. The first thing I did was I glued in the base insert, I glued in the left arm, and then I just left this overnight to dry because trying to get the ponytail and the right arm in there is uh, going to be a little bit tricky. So th the next step that I would uh, be doing once the uh, super glue dries there is putting in the ponytail and then, of course, doing the, the right arm across the body. Now, when you're doing the that right arm, when you're assembling the model, the uh, best thing to do is to try to hold it close to the body so that you can have some of that super glue contact with the torso. And the same thing with the ponytail. Instead of just having it floating out freely, what I did was kind of leaned it into the left shoulder, and that allows me more surface area to put the super glue so that it can make a wider contact point. And this is the finished model. After taking about like two days to glue the separate pieces on. It is solid, it is firm. Uh, if you want even more security, you can pin it, but I think this is gonna look really great for the model. So thanks for watching. Hey, if you're interested, click the link below and that'll take you right to the site and we'll see you in the next video.